This is how you can get more clicks with Google Ads in 2023. Now there are three core changes that you can make in your Google Ads campaign to increase the number of clicks that your Google Ads campaign is generating, which is obviously then increasing the amount of traffic that you're getting to your website. And the first one is a simple one, and that is that you can increase your daily budget. Obviously it makes sense that if you're gonna increase your budget in Google Ads, that is going to lead to more clicks. Now I know that this is a simple one, but it does need to be done in the right way. And we're gonna to touch on more on that later. Because the second thing that you can do to get more clicks in Google Ads is to focus on your click-through ratio. And then finally, the third thing that you can do to increase the amount of clicks that you're getting in Google Ads is to increase your keyword quality score and your ad rank. So in this video, I'm gonna show you those three things that you can review and how to go about improving them in the right way so that you can get more traffic to your website in 2023. So when it comes to that first point of increasing your budget in Google Ads. Now I understand that that makes perfect sense when you increase your budget, obviously you're gonna be getting more clicks. But you do need to make sure that this is done in the right way. And what I mean by that is that you don't wanna just be drastically increasing like doubling your budget or tripling your budget all at one time. And the reason for that is because that could potentially be the worst thing for your account because what it can do is can throw your campaign into a new learning phase, meaning that you can see a drastic increase in your cost per click, so the amount that you're paying per click, and you can even see a drastic decrease in your conversion metrics. So you could be seeing a big drop in your conversion rate and also a big drop in the amount of conversions you're seeing. And the reason for that is because if you just go and double or triple your budget in a day, it sends your account into a new learning phase, which can take a couple of weeks for Google to rectify and for you to be able to start seeing the same little results of what you're doing previously. So if you do wanna increase your budget in Google Ads, it's really, really important that you follow the 20% rule. And what that means is that you don't wanna be increasing your budget by more than 20% in a seven day period. So if you have a campaign that's currently running on $200 a day, and you want to get to be able to spend $300 a day, you wouldn't just increase your budget from 200 to 300 in a single day. What you would do is that you would first increase your budget by 20%, so taking it from 200 up to 240. Then from there, you wait seven days. Now you may need to wait a little bit longer, but when you're happy with the results that you're seeing the same level of results of what you were when your budget was on $200 a day, you then go through and add another 20% increase. So that would mean taking your budget up to somewhere around about that 265, 268 dollars a day. Then you repeat the process, wait one, two weeks, when you're happy with the results, you can then go through and increase your budget up to that $300 a day. So while it might take three weeks to get there, it's much better than doubling your budget, your campaign going into a learning phase, and it could sometimes take five or six weeks for you to be able to re-replicate the results that you are seeing in terms of your conversion metrics before you started to increase your budget. Now, the only side note that I do wanna make there that if you are running on a really small budget, so something like $10 or $20 a day, because that 20% rule does take so long, Generally in those cases, I would add in, especially if we're starting at $10, a $5 increase. And then from there, if you wanted to, you could even up it to a $10 increase until you start getting around about to that $100 a day where it makes more sense to use a 20% increase because you're going up from $100 to $120. So that's the first way that you can get more clicks with your Google Ads campaigns is that you can increase your actual budget. So the amount that you're planning to spend in Google Ads every day. So what I wanna do now for those other two areas, which is focusing on your click-through ratio and also your keyword quality score and ad rank is I'm gonna take you through our screen share so you can see exactly how these work. But before we get there, I wanna explain how these metrics work and why they're so important. Now, most people are aware that Google Ads is based on an auction system, but the Google Ads auction works very different to other types of auctions. So if you do an auction for a house, it would be the highest bidder wins. Or on eBay, once again, it's the highest bidder wins. But the Google Ads auction is very, very different because the highest bidder does not always win. It's got more to do with just who is willing to pay the most amount of money. And the reason for that is because Google also looks at two other core metrics. And the first one is your click-through ratio. That is how many times people see your ad versus how many times they click on your ad. And the reason why Google takes that into account is because Google only gets paid when someone clicks on your ad. So if your ads have a 5% higher click-through ratio than your competitors, you're gonna be winning a lot more auctions because 
Google has a much higher confidence that someone is actually gonna click on your ad. So by focusing on your click-through ratio, you're giving Google a very good reason to show your ad over your competitors' ads. And then we come to that third area, which is your keyword quality score and your ad quality. Now, the reason for why this is so important is because Google takes into account the relevance of your ad. So what that means is that when it comes to an individual auction, Google actually looks at not only the user search term, but it also looks at the ad copy within your ad and your competitors' ads, and then also the landing page. Because what Google is wanting to do here is it's wanting to match the best quality ads with the best quality landing pages to the user's search intent. And the reason for why this is so important for Google is because if it continues to show ads which are not related to the user's search term, people will lose confidence in the platform and they'll stop clicking on ads. So now that you know how those metrics work and why they're so important in increasing or putting upward pressure on how you can get more clicks, I wanna now take you through how you review those metrics and how you can improve them. Let's go into a screen share. So when you're in your Google Ads dashboard, we're first gonna go through and review our click-through ratio. Now to do that, what you wanna be looking at through here is you wanna be looking at some core metrics. So the first thing that you wanna be looking at is that you wanna look at what your actual click-through ratio is. Now, as you can see in this campaign, our click-through ratio is 15%. Now I'm happy with this level of a click-through ratio and the reason for that is because for this industry, the average click-through ratio is ranging at about six and a half to seven percent. As a rule in 2022 across all search campaigns the average click-through ratio for any type of industry was seven percent so what you want to do is you want to be making sure that your click-through ratio is at least five percent above that so for a search campaign I firstly target that seven percent to make sure that we're at the average and then we want to hit ten percent and then we want to get above fifteen percent and the reason for why that is so critical because I know for this account with our campaigns that we're running around about a five to seven percent higher click-through ratio. So with most of our competitors are around about that six and a half to seven, we're nearly double that at 15%. So we're giving Google twice the reason to click on our ads versus our competitors' ads. Now, if you have a low click-through ratio, the main way that you can go through and increase your click-through ratio is by going into your ads and running some really clear split tests. So as you can see through here, let me just focus on our click-through ratio. We're gonna add this in here and I'll just pull this up to the top so it's a lot easier for us to see is that you can see that even in this period of time through our split testing we've been able to increase our click-through ratio from 9.6 percent up to we've had some ads that are at 23 percent and even at 16 percent so what i will do at the end of this video i will include a link to show you how you can go through and do proper split testing but that's the main way that you go through and increase your click-through ratio is by running a proper ad split testing process now when it comes to your keyword quality score and your ad rank what you want to be doing is you want to be going into your keywords. And if you don't see these columns, these are the ones that you want to be putting in. So go to columns, go to modify your columns, and then you can type in quality. So you can see your quality score in here. We're going to apply that. And then let's copy the process and let's just type in ad. And you can see your ad relevance. And then we can go through and click apply. And you can see from here is that in both of these metrics, I've got a high quality score. So this score is out of 10. And you can see all of my keywords are at least a seven out of 10. So we've got a couple of 10 out of 10s, but then it's seven or eight out of 10. And then our ad relevance is above average. So in both cases, we've got highly targeted keywords for our ad copy and our landing pages. Now, the way that you improve your quality score and your ad relevance is through two main areas. The first way is in your structure, is that you wanna make sure that you've got your ad groups that are running one keyword theme. So for this example, we're all running under the gym member management. And in this ad group, you can see all of these keywords have got to relate to gym management management or fitness software. So they're very much all on the same theme. And then when we go into our ads, I'll show you this one in here, is that my ad copy is heavily targeted and related to those keywords we're targeting. Gym member management, you can see in through here as well, through the descriptions, we've also got things like industry leading gym management software. So it's all highly relevant. And of course, it's going to a highly relevant landing page, which is talking about gym member management. So what you wanna be making sure is that you wanna be making sure that you are using your 
your keyword targeting and you've got keyword mentions. Now I'm using a tool called Dynamic Keyword Insertion. But then also above the headlines, we've also got gym management software. And once again, we're mentioning things like member management. So it's all highly related back to the user's search term that we are targeting. So that's the different ways of how you can go about increasing the number of clicks that you're getting in your Google Ads campaigns in 2023. Now, obviously when it comes to Google Ads, we don't only wanna be getting a high number of clicks because we also wanna make sure that they're well qualified traffic so that we're getting the highest number of conversions. And to increase the quality of your traffic, you wanna make sure that you're optimizing your account in the correct way. And to help you with that, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which takes you through the exact optimization steps that you need to be carrying out on your search campaigns. And if you'd like to get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the changes that are happening in Google Ads, make sure that you don't only subscribe, but you turn on that notification bell so that you know every time I release a new video right here on Google Ads. Now, as I mentioned and promised throughout the video, if you wanna learn more about how to complete proper split testing with your Google Ads ad copies so that you can increase your click-through ratios, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Thank you again. See you next time.